Dude, his weapon Dude watch so this, awesome. bro. Watch this. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Yo. Dude, this is okay, bro. Dude. <laughs> my plan is to have him on for episode 41. I I'll have everything ready. We're gonna do a Costa Rica special where he's gonna tell some stories. And we're gonna we're gonna unearth uh, some uh, we're gonna unearth some senior secrets. What are, okay, real quick, what are your top three Legend of Zelda games? Mine is Wind Waker, uh, Majora's Mask, and then probably Breath of the Wild. I got I got a new beat. I got a whole fucking layout I'm looking at right now. We got let's let's see let's let's throw on the beat. While this beat is by Chazzy, and while we open up the show, I'm gonna go over the little layout for you. Episode number 17 of Weebin' with Wes. Yeah, it's a new beat to beat your meat to. New beat to beat your meat to. And this is Chazzy from the Side Project podcast. Chazzy from the Project podcast. We're going to listen to about a minute or so of it. So uh, what we got today oh shit, is the uh, intro beat. The weeb fit, the clip of the week, some game news. I got some shows I've been watching, oh. and our uh, and a good little outro. We're gonna talk about a special guest coming on to the Broken Knock Life podcast next week for episode forty-one. Liv, will you stop licking your fucking badge on camera? You didn't pause too far in between the special guest on next week. And then it was like, Liv. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> you're, you're yeah, yeah, now. yeah. Li Liv on. just licking her badge <laughs> is oh, the God. guest. Oh. <laughs> Liv, Liv, that's disgusting. Why did you say that? <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> now oh, I man. just have to live with that knowledge. Yeah, dude, it is what it is. It's either the asshole or the, you know. You know when my cat's lick their own assholes or lick each other assholes I actually appreciate it because then their assholes don't smell like shit anymore so that I understand that makes sense you know right I stay away but, from uh, Liv's tongue anyway so I don't I don't let her because she was like neglected <laughs> neglected and shit and her teeth are like rotten so her breath smells like shit like all the time but anyway Sorry. that's the that's the that's the beat it's called crime by Chazzy with the side project podcast Phase that out. Is it a prime? Is it a crime podcast? Like a podcast about crime? Is that what he made that for, or is it like? No, he just makes his side pro. It's not based only on crime. It's just like one of his. You know, like how Dak names his beats. Right, just like right, random right. shit that kind of like goes along with it. It's kind of like a menacing sounding beat. So I guess that's why he put crime. Maybe he's uh, committing all types of crime. Maybe, maybe this is our his way. This is this is Chazzy's way of telling us coming out that he's a he's a crime expert, crime lord, a crime lord just like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. Mugiwara. Mugiwara. <laughs> the gain the gain on that is so fucking perfect. It sounds, it sounds amazing. Okay, so. Mugiwara. Uh, we're gonna get right into the uh, right into the weave fit. Just a short little weave fit. I got. I finally. I'm doing this because I cleaned out my closet. I finally got. I gotta get more stuff for this, you know. I got rid of a fuck ton of. Well, I don't have a lot of one piece shit. I have a lot of like nerdy weave stuff from whenever I got loot crates. I got loot crates probably for like two years straight, bro. I got like some crazy yeah. promotion deal for Christmas. And uh, yeah. I have all of those shirts still. So, um, all right, all right. get into the weave fit. I mean, I'm just going to get up and show. I'm repping the old One yeah, Piece today. Out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I had to hear that. It's just, it's, my mom actually got this for me uh, for Christmas, like last year. A little One Piece action. All right, all right. And then the, that side shit, the little Jolly Roger. Oh, yeah. Jolly and Roger and Chuck. It almost looks like it's like a Vans or like some yeah. kind of skate shops themed version of a 
a one piece shirt, you know? Yeah, I don't I don't know what the brand is. It's it's probably some like Amazon reseller. Probably, yeah. That's like definitely where my mom got it from. But uh I was I was hyping this clip up earlier. And dude, the animation on this clip, you remember the flashback in the uh manga of white young white beard and Oda and uh Roger? Right, right. So they they they're at that part right now in the uh, anime. I haven't watched oh. the past six episodes. I think I saw this because whenever I try to get ideas for the show, I just go and I type in One Piece on my Google recommended thing, and it shows up like a whole bunch of interesting different articles. So I saw this video from the I think this is the latest episode or two episodes back, and dude, it's about a minute and forty seconds. This clip is fucking phenomenal. So. Let's see if I can do this right this time. Okay. Alright, can you see that? Alright. Oh, dude, this is about to get me so hype. <laughs> He's like, what's up? Dude, look at this. Yo, I'm so glad that they finally animated this. They finally got to this part. Dude, look, he's like, fuck you! <laughs> Dude! Oh my god, bro. Yeah. Dude. Dude, watch this, bro. Watch this. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Yo. Dude, this is okay, bro. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Oda's like, fuck! Watch what he says. Holy fuck. Who did to me? Oh my dude. god, dude. Okay, well, let's watch it one more time. Back to back. I'm gonna watch that first swing again. From, yes, uh, dude. Roger. Yes. I was most interested in that. Divine departure. Dude, Damn. and look at that, bro. He fucked him up. Holy shit, was that... I'm not gonna say that it is, but I can't remember. I'll say I can't remember having had any Rogers, any of Rogers attacks being animated in the past. I I don't even know if I've ever seen one of his attacks before. I don't, I don't think so. Like Not before, before this the, point in the manga and the show. Yeah, I, I, if so, I can't recall. And the, do you recall if in the manga, did he actually like name his move when he did that slash? I have no Honestly, idea. I can't remember. I, I want to say he didn't, but I don't, I don't remember well enough. It's a, it's a badass sure. name. Regardless, yeah, yeah. divine departure, dude. I just I love Whitebeard's weapon. I wish he didn't die. I wanted more of him. Yeah, same here, man. Well, we're gonna get more of them in the animation. Hopefully, they draw it out a little bit. Cause this is what I want drawn out. It's like some kind of glaive or like a naginata or something as his weapon. It looks dope though. <laughs> dude, look at him. He's like, fuck. <laughs> Dude, the spear is just like, or the, the weapon is just like bent to the curve, bro. They aren't even touching each other. Look at that shot, bro. God, that is so fucking great. I think, I think I saw somebody post a screenshot of their two faces like that. I think yeah. it might have been uh, one of the anime headliners posted it the other day on Instagram. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know what it was from. I was like, I haven't, I don't recognize that. But I guess now I do. Dude, oh my god, I was so hyped whenever Roger did the divine and dude, he stopped Oda with an attack. Like, dude, that's not a small feat. Oda's powerful oh, yeah. as fuck. Like, dude, if he wanted to, I mean, we know he could have been on the crew. Like, he's cr like Roger crew power level, you know? Right. Yeah. I mean, they say it in uh inadvertently i guess because they're he's the only one who's damaged kaido up until you know a certain point but so that already speaks to his power i guess right it's just yeah 
that just makes me that's like that's like a little cock tease i feel like that scene it's like i just want more of them fighting dude at now just give me like give me like 10 episodes of pure fucking all three of those dudes just going at it yes, on like a dude. on like an on like an island give them like a world where they can yeah. just fight <laughs> it just goes <laughs> dude honestly i would watch a spinoff of just like Roger or not Roger, uh, Whitebeard's crew. Dude. I mean, also I would watch probably one of Roger's crew, but oh my a God. spinoff of Whitebeard's crew, I feel like would also be really entertaining. What do you think of uh, of Oda's voice actor just from the the few that you've heard of the voice actor for who for Oda? Oh, oh, for Oda. Yeah, he sounded like when I first heard it, it's, it reminded me a little bit of Frankie. Um, yeah, yeah, it's like it kind of has like a goofy, like manly, robust right, yeah, sound exactly. to it. It's like it's 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 got the machismo, but it's still goofy. Because he like is goofy the, himself, so that right, it fits. Yeah, yeah. It fits him. Because I I saw I saw some backlash whenever he first uh the first episode that I saw that he was animated. There was some uh, Crunchyroll comments, but now there's not. I guess people are warmed up to him. I, at first, yeah, first I out think, the gate, I thought he was fucking phenomenal because he did like a full like sentence or two, and I was like, oh my god, bro. This I would guy's have nailing. to watch more of the episodes he's in to form an opinion on how I. But yeah, like you know how you form a, like an idea of what somebody sounds like in your head. Yeah. Um, my, in my imagination, Oda's voice was quite a bit deeper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A and, lot. Of, yep. That's what a lot of people were saying. But that's that's the only real criticism I have. Which, I mean, if that's the only criticism I have, it's really not that bad, honestly. Better than dub. <laughs> Better than dub. <Dove. laughs> that's all. That's all. That's, that's all you got to compare it to. What episode are they even in? Wayno in the dub? I don't even know. Where are they at? Oh, dude, I have no idea. No, no earthly idea of where the I'm, fuck I'm they. I'm really are. curious what the what they the dub actor voice actor sounds like actually. Let me see if they uh, got a quick clip on YouTube. Dude, there's no, there's no way they're, they're even close to Oda. I think they're like, dude, I, I don't know. They're way the fuck back. I know. But anyway, anyway. Ah, uh, that's what it was. His name is his name is Odin, not Oda. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oda, Odin. You know, pretty close. It's, a, it's his nickname from now on, Oda. <laughs> Oda, 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 Oda. That's him. That's him reincarnated. That's a badass fucking character to reincarnate yourself. But we've already we've already seen right. Oda's incarnate reincarnate from uh like a bunch of episodes back. The dude from that movie that was voiced by the that was bo- guy yeah or whatever. that was voiced by episode. <laughs> yeah he was voiced by Oda right. I think so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's phenomenal. I wish Oda would do more, like, uh, I feel like he really could, or I don't feel like, I'm pretty sure that they would just let him if he wanted to voice act in more episodes. Yeah, He probably absolutely. doesn't have time to do it, because obviously he's busy with the manga, but I would love to see him uh, do some, like, more side characters or something. That'd be, that'd be phenomenal, like Usopp's sidekick or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, even, I don't even know what he sounds like. I haven't watched an interview of him in a long ass time. I, I don't really know either. Let's see. I can't really picture in my head what his voice sounds like. We should uh, pull up a video of Oda. Uh, let me let me see. Let's see. Is there one where he talks? Oda interviewed 2016. Oh wow, his voice is actually pretty deep. I didn't expect that. Yeah, dude. I'm listening to it right now. I'm not, I I would have to have it all prepped up, but that I thought it would be a little bit. How 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 old is he? Forty-five. I would think his voice would be like a little bit higher. His voice is like a, uh, is like a, uh, is like that crocodile moogie would, uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, I feel like he would actually do, like, if he practiced some voices. <laughs> That's Oda, dude. 
Oda voiced Crocodile, bro. Uh, uh, I feel uh, like he could have, uh, given how deep it, his voice actually yeah. is. I, I, mean, I don't know if it was just that video I watched, but it sounded like pretty What What was it? It was the 2016, like it was like 30 uh, something minutes. I mean, 15. Yeah. 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 yeah 2016 interview. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, uh, definitely a voice actor machine. So I was, I was, the other day, I was <clears throat> looking at the Switch that I've neglected for probably like four or five months now. But a, a game recently sparked my interest. But I'm only gonna get it if it's. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not paying sixty dollars for this fucking game. It's too much dollar. It's too much money to spend on a fucking video game. I'll wait for. A, I'll wait for a, a sale. But it's a uh, Link the the new Link game, the new Zelda game, the, the uh, Link Between uh, Two Past. They remade the old game into a new one, and it's like a new style. I ne I need it. I need that fucking game, bro. Is that the one that was released like a couple there, of years ago or last year? No, no, recently, recently, I think. What name is that? Legend of, uh, Legend of Zoto, Link's Awakening. Let's it, see, I see they're remaking Skyward Sword. It came out 2019, September 20th. Uh, oh yeah, the remake of Link's Awakening. Yeah, yeah Link's yeah, Awakening, yeah. not Two Swords. I dude, yeah, I, yeah. I, I wanna. It, it looks fucking good, man. And I love anything Zelda. I'm probably uh, going to play Breath of the Wild again. If you do pick that up, actually, let me know how it is. Because I actually didn't pick it up because of the art. It mm. was too, like, like jarring. Cl but Claymation, doll-ish. Yeah. But in hindsight, I mean, it is a Legend of Zelda game. I mean, I'd probably enjoy it. The thing I that enjoy the original, so. Right, the thing that drew, drew me to it is the, the like... The fighting mechanics that I saw on one of these game demos that they were playing, and it looked really fucking satisfying. I just want to go around and fucking hit shit. Just, just watch how he fucking hits shit and just like moves around. That it, it interested me enough, not enough to spend sixty dollars, maybe, maybe thirty. It'll probably go on sale uh, for. It's Christmas. been out for a year or two years. September yeah. no, twenty nineteen. Yeah, I feel like this one probably isn't going to maintain its price for as long as, like, say, Breath of the Wild will. Right. Uh, dude. So, yeah, probably if you wait, like, a year or so, it'll probably be pretty cheap. If I had to ah, guess. dude, by then, they probably have Breath of the Wild 2, because I think they're working on Breath of the Wild 2 right now. It's not going to... There's no way it's going to be out in a year. I think they'll maybe announce it. Yeah, they'll, have an, they'll have announced it, I hope, within a year. Yeah, that's, I think what, that's said, what I'm saying. Uh, in the last Nintendo Direct they did, actually, they said... Uh, that they'll have some news for us for it later this year because they, like, they did this fucking whole thing um where uh what's this god damn it what's his name whatever the fucking got legend of zelda guy is that always announces the stuff popped up on the screen and everybody was like oh legend of zelda breath of the wild <laughs> in the fucking chat and then he's like i know you think i'm here to talk about breath of the wild but i'm not and immediately everybody was just like ah uh, get the fuck off the stage <laughs> Yeah, what they announced was some Hyrule Warriors uh, Age of Calamity DLC and the Skyward Sword remake, I believe. Which I'm actually, I, I don't think that's a bad announcement. I think I, the uh, Skyward Sword, but the other one I could care less. Skyward yeah. Sword remaster, yes, but the other one, I, uh, no. Hyrule Warriors is actually a pretty pretty good hack and slash game if you're into that, like, Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, I am, but Warriors I feel like it would game. get boring easily, man. I haven't played like a ton of it, but my girlfriend just 100 percent of it, so it must be Ooh. somewhat good. Okay. Um, but yeah, I I actually never finished Skyward Sword because I didn't have a Wii. My my uh, younger here. brother had the Wii, and then he eventually sold it, I think. But uh, so yeah, I never got the chance to play it. Essentially, I still so have I'm my actually, Wii and my Wii U. Damn. I ah man, I I lent my Wii U to somebody, and uh. I got the pad back, but I never got the actual console back. <laughs> so I'm just like, Damn, what do I man. do? With this? What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck yeah. do I do with this? It's useless. Because <laughs> don't you have to connect too. that to like even yeah, yeah. operate it? Yeah, dude, that's yeah. That'd be different so, if it was like its uh, its own like iPad or tablet, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this the bat. The worst part is um, my favorite, which 
a lot of people actually don't even like this game, but my favorite uh, Legend of Zelda game is Wind Waker, and the remake is on... Wind Waker is fantastic. I it's, love Wind Waker. I think it, Wind Waker is like one of the best ones. It, it really captures that... Like, to me, Legend of Zelda is about the spirit of adventure. It's like going around, doing things, um, collecting stuff, you know, getting new gear. Right. It's, 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 it's at its core. It feels like it's like about the spirit of adventure or, you know. And the like, art style uh, is phenomenal. Epic tales, I guess. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the art style. Um, Dude, Toon Link, to me, bro. I just feel like, I feel like Wind Waker just did a really good job at that. I don't know. That's where um, Toon Link is from, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, one of them. I I think he's in other games probably, but dude, like, that's uh, that's my dude. I mean, I haven't played Smash in fucking forever, but that's you know uh, you know that's my guy. <laughs> Toon Link. <laughs> I'm well aware. I'm well aware of your shenanigans on Toon Link. Okay. <laughs> dude, it's the bomb that gets y'all every time, bro. Yeah, his his bow I, is actually really good too, if I recall correctly. Oh yeah, dude, I throw everything at the same time. I I remember my combination would be like I throw like we start out, I throw the boomerang, I shoot the bow and arrow, and then I'll run forward, I'll throw the bomb up in the air, and then that's when I'll start doing all of that everywhere. So then the bomb will just like <laughs> it'll just fall randomly on you. Right, right. Um, but I'm trying to dodge yeah. the bomb too because sometimes I get hit by my own shit. Because, you know, those maps are small, so I'm like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, they can be for sure. Oh, yeah. Man. They're, oh, man. Legend of Zelda is just such a good series. I could talk about that series all day. The other, the other, what? Are, okay, real quick. What are your top three Legend of Zelda games? Mine is Wind Waker, uh, Majora's Mask, and then probably Breath of the Wild. Uh, Ocarina, Breath of the Wild, and probably Wind Waker. Uh, probably in that order. Probably in that order. Maybe Breath, maybe Breath of the Wild and Wind Waker switch every now and again because those are like really close for me. But those are the, those those are my top three. So Ocarina of Time, uh, Wind Waker. I mean, uh, uh, Breath of the Wild and then Wind Waker. Right, right, right. Phenomenal yeah, series, close. man. Yeah, I I I still need to finish Skyward Sword so I can so. One of the things that I remember about Skyward Sword, and I don't know if this was just our Wii that we had, uh, but I remember the controls being really, really janky. I I on think the Wii. you remember like the motion controls that you had to use. Yeah, on I some games really it was janky. good, but some games were just it, you would just it would just like go across the screen, right, and just right. like the calibration was all fucky. I mean, that was the I'm, beginning of like that type of technology. Like being yeah, used yeah. commercially. I'm not, I'm not faulting them for it being janky. I'm just saying, like, I didn't finish the game partially because it was janky. At least, I, I don't remember, like, if it was all Wii games, but I remember that one specifically left, like, a weird... I, I only got through, like, not even 30 minutes. <laughs> I didn't even... It... Supposedly they fixed the controls, and now you can also do it without the motion controls, so oh, that's then. what I'm really looking forward yeah, to. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it without the motion controls all day. <laughs> Yeah. Especially whenever they do the... They said they're doing the remake, huh? Yeah, yeah. When is that it's coming out? Next out, year? Uh, no, this is supposed to come out this year. Oh, shit. Dude, Probably okay. Stop, November, stop. I, I can't get... Dude. Stop. No more. <laughs> they always release their shit in November, bro. It's coming out. God damn it, man. I need, <laughs> st I need to stay away from my Switch. It's going to be calling my name. I'm going to be like, go to the store. And I'll be like, no. <laughs> Buy all, all right, the if you say so, I guess I have to. <laughs> I mean, I did get a fucking credit card. Hey, put it on my fucking credit, dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Kingsley. Yeah. Kingsley said he won't come on Broke Knock Life until I, uh, until I play dra until I duel him in Dragon Ball Legends. You know that? You know that game I'm talking about? I haven't played it, but yeah, dude, it's I've, fucking good, man. I I like it. I don't I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I mean, it's grindy and it's repetitive as fuck, like all of those games are. But it, it like all of those card collection fighting games are. But I don't know, man. I just love upgrading my characters. I love upgrading like Super Saiyan and like building like a Super Saiyan team and just fucking right. annihilating people and. It, it it somewhat gets compl it somewhat gets complicated in the fighting system, 
I'm not... trying to remember. Is that the the gacha one? I don't. There's like a bunch of them. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there. Like yeah, there at is. At least two, two, three, maybe four. I don't know. There's a bunch. Uh, Dragon Ball Legends. I believe that's the, or I, maybe they all are gacha games. Most well, mobile games are gacha games. Uh. Yeah, it's kind of. It's not here. fucking focusing. Damn it. Uh, okay. <clears throat> it's so a it's a card mode game. So I yeah, guess it's... I guess card collecting is similar to Gacha, but not quite the same. Do you like level? Do you have to like uh, get stuff from like a summoning thing or like a thing where you pay premium currency to get characters that you yep. can then use to power up your characters? Yep. Yeah, that's Gacha. That's Gacha for sure. Yeah. yeah Gacha games is like a genre or something. I'm not, oh, okay. It's, it's kind of a genre. I don't. I don't know. Basically, yeah, there's a lot of games like that where you essentially you just pay this premium currency to get a random either character or gear or whatever. One Piece Treasure the, Cruise is like that. Yeah, a lot of the anime ones, especially, are uh, gacha games. Gacha games are super popular in uh, uh, Asia, like in Japan and China. I think especially. Mm. They're super popular. Uh, I've I've played some of them in the past, and typically the world release or the global release, as they call it, usually is like takes second to uh, to the Japan server, right? Or the, the especially Asian One Piece, dude, and that pisses yeah. me off. They're always like months behind, or dude, they get way more than months, or whatever. They they like feeling like they're special. They I think if I recall correctly, they did that in, with Pokemon too. Like they would only give certain you know how they used to do the mystery gift thing where you could go to like a game stop and get like a, a yeah Pokemon or something? yeah they would they would have a bunch of them that were really cool but only for japan so it's like it's like i don't know if it's like a thing but to me it's a thing where like the japanese uh yeah they're like making exclusive shit prioritize we don't japanese. do we make exclusive <laughs> shit that that japan can't get i mean if we're doing it I here i mean it's tit for tat but i i that i that's so, I don't think so. Dude, we're on One Piece Treasure Cruise. It's like six months behind in their character releases. Like, yeah. like I remember whenever I used to play it, I remember seeing Katakuri for the first time, and we were way the fuck back. Way back in the story. I'm like, dude, yeah. what the fuck? People are, people are, like, getting top of these ranks, and there's no way that we can keep up with just our shit unless they do, like, a global only. You know, not like, uh, or like a, a, a region only. I don't know. It's fucked. Yeah. Usually, usually uh, in those gacha games, they are separate servers. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the Japanese like to feel like they're special. Or maybe <laughs> the game developers for these mobile games just like to uh, make them feel special. Maybe that, like, gives them a better audience or attracts them. Could you do a VPN? Oh, yeah, yeah. And get like, and you uh, probably like, wouldn't even need a VPN to sign up for the games. I think typically all you need is like a, uh, ah, I've looked this up before. I should know this. I think it's like <laughs> a Japanese email or something. Yeah. And uh, no, I think it's like a phone number and an address is typically what they ask for. In which case, you need like a Japanese one or like a Japanese phone number. Oh, okay. I, oh, I think it's the phone number. I think it's the Japanese phone number that you need. That's what it is. Shit, dude. Which I can get category. Uh, Dog tooth uh, in the paint, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, in uh, airports in Japan, they sell like little uh, SIM cards that you can get that are Japanese, that are like uh, the prepay ones like you have over here. Yeah. Where you just buy them, you put put the SIM card in your phone, and it has like, uh, you know, however many minutes. Yeah. Uh, they have that over there. So what some people will do is they'll sell those online. And then you could just grab that, stick that bitch in your phone. Uh, and rock and roll. Sometimes have like the, the dual SIM card feature, so mm. get you one of them, perhaps. Get Damn. you get you those sick One Piece Treasure Cruise uh, <laughs> characters. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm interested in the whole concept of it, but I'm I'm not actually gonna do it. No, oh, yeah, I didn't. It's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, the it's way too much. Just there to like get you to spend money. So. Yeah, dude, and I'm not I'm not spending money. I'm not doing it. I'll I'm gr I'll grind. Before I spend the money, a really popular gacha game just came out. Uh, Unless I'm like co uh, like competitively doing it, and I'm like Genshin, really into it. Genshin Impact is a gacha game. Uh, Dude, isn't that the game that looks exactly like Breath of the Wild? 
Yeah, they made it. They made it, and it looks super similar. And a lot of the features play super, or not features, but a lot of the game mechanics feel super similar to a lot of stuff in Breath of the Wild. But it's at its core, it's a gacha game right. where they're limiting like your resource gathering to however many per day, and you can unlock it with premium currency. To get new characters, you have to pay a premium currency to uh, summon or whatever they call it in that game. I don't know. Typically, it's called like summon or something, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with that because I, I played it for like 20 hours, but I was like, eh, gotcha game, no thanks. <laughs> yeah, it got to the point where it was just like you hit a wall without right. having okay. to pay, you know? Yep, exactly. That's the point. That's what they do. They get you to, they get you, string you along just enough to make you invested in the game. Yep. Uh, as a free player and then you hit a wall where you can't really get past it or you can but it just takes months and months of effort to get past it whereas you could just pay like 10 bucks or something right right but that 10 bucks turns into 10 bucks yeah, like the next days. month and then the Third. next month yeah <laughs> oh believe me i played Yu Gi Oh duel links i spent it's essentially gacha I, <laughs> yeah 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 that is it that is a gacha oh, game but that's yeah. way more on the strategic side yeah, yeah, it's not as much of a gacha because you don't need like uh, more than one to two to three copies. Typically, having three copies of card you don't really need. And yeah. Links because the deck size is so small. But there are definitely some that are like ultra rares or super rares that you need three copies of. That feels very gacha like when you're trying to get those and you've opened like 500 packs and you just can't get that one card that you. <laughs> yep, dude. You see, you see that one ultra rare still available in that list. Uh, yeah. And you're like, dude, uh, you're like, dude, uh, fuck. <laughs> God. I remember. I you remember. you click the you click the option that says show available cards. <laughs> yep. And you're like, no, one left. God damn it. There was some red eyes card in Duel Links that I, because uh, I ran a red eyes deck for a little while because it was like the meta deck. The Isn't that Joey Wheeler's deck? deck? Yeah, he uses red eyes. Red and, eyes, black uh, dragon. For him, it was a. Uh, Rex Raptor gave it to him originally. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's yeah, early right. on in this sh in the show. Yeah, yeah, that's like in the. I want to say that's in the. What, oh, what is it called? It's when they're in the city with in Kaiba's tournament. When the, that's when they get the dual discs. I yeah. Think. And then that's that's when if you duel somebody and lose, you give up your like your rarest card or something, your strongest card. I think it is. Yeah, dude, and I that, remember that that, that, ca that card was badass. I remember there was there was some fusion of it that I really fucked with. With uh, with red eyes, red black eyes, red eyes, black dragon, meteor dragon. That yeah, yeah. Like red I, eyes, meteor dragon. There's also red eyes, metal or darkness metal dragon or something like that. There, there's a ton of them actually. There's like a one with a. Uh, it's one with one of the dragon knight guys, and he's like a uh, riding him or something. I think. Okay. But yeah, dude, there are a bunch the... of cool fusions with red eyes. There's, it's like a whole archetype, essentially. Okay, dude. Yeah, Jesus Christ. There's way more than I thought. Oh, oh my, yeah. dude. What the? F they keep releasing them, dude. Let's dude, see this is uh, crazy. Yeah, the one that I was out, the old school one, the Meteor B Dragon. Yeah, yeah, that one's dope. I love that card. He just looks cool, you know. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I, got... These are crazy. Dragon of Red Eyes. They got Red, Red Eyes, Eyes Nightmare Dragon. Dragon. They got Black Skull Dragon, which I think is a fusion with Red Eyes. Yep, Black Skull Dragon, which is Summon Skull and okay. Red Eyes. Dude, which did you? okay. This card looks fucking phenomenal. Red which Eyes, one? Black Luster Dragon. Oh yeah, dude, the, like, that looks Luster fucking Luster. dope. Is that Black Luster Soldier and? Uh... Yeah. Nice. I didn't know. That. Oh wait, actually, that's a new card. I think, isn't it? Or no, no, Red Eyes Dragoon is the new one. Never mind. Red eyes, black. Oh, let's see. Let's see if you can see this. Oh, that looks fucking sick. Yeah, look at that. Look up uh, red eyes, dragoon, dark dragoon. Red eyes. Red eyes, dark dragoon. It's dark magician, red eyes. Oh, I see it. I see it. Red eyes, it looks dark. fucking dope. It's like a fusion between red oh. eyes and dark magician, dude. It's fucking dope. It's actually a really fucking strong card too, though. Come on, uh, come on. I, I stopped playing the TCG before that was released, but I know of its existence because I still follow some uh, players. But this is um, I can't get the card to focus. So, but this is the art. Uh, oh yeah, that you had it in focus for a second. Yeah, 
such a badass. Yeah, dude, that's that's fucking. <laughs> That's crazy, man, uh, dude. Imagine if that—that's—that's that's like an ultimate in-game anime villain. Yeah, dude. It's also like <laughs> a boss monster of the deck that he runs in. I'm pretty sure. Shit. So I mean, like, if you get that guy out, I'm pretty sure you're fucking stuff up. <laughs> I mean, you're you're fucking up your opponent. I should say. Oh man, dude. Still, my favorite is that relinquished fusion. I love anything uh, relinquished, man. I just is restrict. I think is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you showed me that card, that that was that that uh, thumbnail that I took a picture of. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my reaction whenever you whip that card out. I hadn't uh, seen that card in years, man. Yeah, that's that's a great. It's we're a, gonna go down another Yu-Gi-Oh tangent. <laughs> <laughs> this is already a Yu-Gi-Oh tangent. Yeah, yeah, that, Yu-Gi-Oh is fantastic, man. I mean, I only have uh, uh oh yeah. What uh, what what games are you hyped for? I mean, we kind of covered that with the uh with the Zelda shit, but is there anything besides Zelda that you're hyped for in the next year or whatever? It's coming out in the next year. Uh, I mean, I'm always hyped for any new Fire Emblem stuff. I think they announced something. Dude, they always get good ratings, man. I, I started playing like one of the original ones on Game Boy Advance, I believe on my Raspberry Pi, my little arcade thing. And it's, dude, it's phenomenal, man. Dude, yeah, I... they're they're great. They and they get progressively better, in my opinion. Like really, uh, oh yeah, like Three Houses, the most recent one. It took away, uh, like my my main fear. So okay, so in Fire Emblem games, you can essentially recruit people as you play through the game. Yeah. Uh, and some have like special conditions to recruit. Like you have to have I don't know, beat him with this guy, or you have to have this item, something I don't know. Right. Uh, so something similar to that. Like there, and one of them you have to like go to this spot in this map during this ba this one battle, and if you don't get on this little glowy spot, you can't recruit the character, for example. Mm. Uh, but essentially, um, you recruit the characters throughout the game, and in the newest one, Three Houses, yeah, you're a teacher who basically trains them. Oh, so it, shit. It, they did away with a lot of the annoyance of having characters that were limited to only, you know, certain classes or certain play styles because of that. Mm -hmm. And you could, like, train them up. So essentially, you, they just, like, unlocked the customization of the characters, essentially, to make your team forming better. Because that's a huge part of Fire Emblem is basically training up your team. Uh, and it's still the same the fighting style? Fire. Uh, yeah, they, they, like, they change things here and there. They try new things every once in a while. It's nothing, like, crazy. Like, in, uh, uh, what was it? Three Houses, they have, like, a rewind mechanic where you can go back like, a couple turns or something. It's a, it's not, like, uh, a difference in gameplay style like the Assassin's Creed series turned out to be. I did like, not is it, is really it, play any of them after Assassin's dude, Creed. Dude, okay. Uh, ba basically... Earl, the good Assassin's Creed were all stealth based and just like grinding to get really cool armor and stuff. And then the later ones is more like hack and slash, mindless. Right, okay. So like that, yeah, it's just it's just dumbed down. So it seems like uh, yeah, I haven't Fire played. Does not get dumbed down. Right, Fire right. Adds more mechanics as it goes. See, that's what you need to do. <laughs> oh my, like build off of what you're successful from, and right, right. make it more advanced, like. The, the progression from the first Assassin's Creed to the second one, and then, like, a few, like, two or three after that, just it just kept getting better and better and better. I'm just like, thank you. And then they got into the whole, like, hacking and slash thing, and it's really only good when it's on sale and you're just, you just want to, like, fuck up some shit. I don't know. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that makes sense. It's I mean they're probably catering to a more casual audience. I yeah. Guess, at that point, uh, it's doing well, like sales wise. Yeah, but Fire Fire Emblem, I don't think has really ever moved more casual. I've always uh, seen good gotten, ratings, even on the new releases. Anime, like the the original ones, did have like anime characters for like the art. Um, yeah. But in the more recent ones, it's like more anime e and they introduce in uh not awakening or no yet yeah, it was awakening and awakening they introduced like a romance or bonding mechanic with other characters oh which some people felt was like too japanese or too anime e uh it depends what I, it I like it, it, it cool. depends what it does if it's just there just for show then fuck it but if it actually no, like it, gives uh, you more equipment or like levels you up more or some shit like that then yeah so 
in make it interesting. Essentially, you build up bonds with the characters, and if you're standing next to somebody you have a bond with, I think it gives them like a stat bonus. Oh, dude. Uh, if I recall correctly, so actually leveling up the characters, and uh, part of it is you have to <clears throat> to level up the characters as with like their bonds. You have to use them in battle, and I think they gain it by supporting each other. So. That's the mechanic that gives the stat bonus in Awakening, is if you're standing next to somebody else, you get a stat bonus where they're assisting or supporting or whatever it's called. Mm. And uh, sometimes I think they even attack, if I recall correctly. It's been a while since I played the game. I can't remember, to be honest. But yeah. Oh, uh, dude. You know what You know what game is amazing? Uh, Mario RPG. I haven't played that, actually. Oh, my God, dude. Sure. Fucking play it. Is is it called Mario RPG or is it no Super no it's Mario? it's it's something else. it's something else it, I know it has RPG in the name though Mario Superstar Saga is one of them yeah 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 uh uh or I could be wrong that Mario be RPG Le Legend of the Seven Stars Legend of the Seven Stars yeah I'll have to play that one I've also uh, I have it on I my Raspberry that. Pi that's, that's what it looks Legend. like. Oh, shit, that was an SNES. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to have to check that out. I, I played the Paper Mario games, uh, like Thousand Year Door and whatever the other one it was. It plays like a Fire Emblem game. That's, uh, people said, yeah, that they, the Paper Mario games are pretty similar to it, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, but I, I can't recall if that's correctly true, because I, or exactly true, because I haven't played. I didn't play, game. I didn't play much of Paper Mario. I did play Paper Mario. Paper Mario was actually pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, yeah, I haven't played Super Superstar. No, yeah, dude, Superstar. if you if you really want to get Star, into it, Star. just get like a Raspberry Pi. Fuck it. I yeah. mean, they're cheap as fuck, and then you can do like a whole arcade thing. I can send you a whole. I built a, a Mame a Mame arcade machine before. It's like a, oh. a project. Oh, nice. Um, we actually even built a house for it. That was like a big wooden, like you you know the the old arcades machines that they used to have yeah the arcade that, cabinets that, that same shape that they had yeah those arcade cabinets they all have that same shape we made that like same general shape and we made some uh y'all got electronic buttons yeah well not electronic like physical buttons we wired yeah yeah that's that's what i meant yeah to the to the, to the pie and uh it was pretty dope uh i don't know who has that anymore it was it was for like a group project we did when i was in college uh it's it it, it, it gave me it something to do hard, early in uh the pandemic like i got really into it man i was like i didn't i didn't know you did that yeah i have it whole dude i have a whole fucking there's like 700 games on there that i like manually put in what are you running uh what's the question i'm looking for here what <laughs> what are you outputting the video to from your pi oh you to, like my... to a monitor you have like a little screen or something? i have a little tv a little uh okay. vivo a, a Vizio. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, Vizio. We, we had to buy like a, a one since of those... it was like a self-contained unit. We had to put in like the the power thing. Or actually, no, no, no. We had a battery pack actually that we we installed in that fucker, so it didn't actually need to be plugged in, if I recall correctly. Yeah, dude, you can keep stacking uh, them, bitches. You can keep putting more modules on top. Yeah, yeah, they're they're. Pretty you can, cool. dude. There's uh, like an SSD expansion expansion shit now. There's like you can add like a whole bunch of more. There's like. There's so much shit now. I don't know when y'all built that, but like it's it's advancing crazy now. I did this like last year. Oh, four. Yeah, that's early on. I didn't know what the fuck a Raspberry Pi was back then. Yeah, I mean, I was a computer science major, so we we did stuff with them. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, they're great for for little projects. Uh, you can do all kinds of things with them. I've seen people make like little mirrors. The, like the smart mirrors that have like little yes uh, bats and stuff that show up if you go on those. the reddit they have all of these projects that people do yeah 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 yeah. uh they yeah, do they robots those, machines robots yeah you can i mean whatever you can do with a fucking computer it's just like it's a fucking computer it's so, literally it's a really mini small. computer like a mini universal computer yeah it's like a self-contained computer that is Easily extensible, I guess I'll say. But it you can can't really add modules and stuff and like new uh, peripherals. Yeah, the only thing that it has problems running is PSP games, which is understandable because it's interesting. It's pretty PSP games are pretty fucking. They're pretty huge. It's like yeah, you should 
You could probably get like a external graphics card, like a cheap yep. one. Throw that shit on there. Yeah, because it, <laughs> yeah, it runs it it runs some PS2 games. Like you can play. Uh, uh, Wait, did you say PSP or PS2? P- you can run some PS2. Gotcha. Not, but the, the PSP games are bigger than the PS2. Really? Yeah, I don't. I, for some reason, I can play PS2. Some of them, probably like half of my PS2 collection, I can play, and then none of the PSP. Like it's it, it's slow. So maybe there's a setting I'm I'm fucking up. It's the file size, or is it like the graphics? The graphics, like you can play it, but the graphics is like, like fucking. That makes sense. I low, guess. low frame rate, very low. Some of those later PSP games were were pretty hefty and pretty nice looking. Yeah, uh, like Star I Wars really Elite Squadron. Version, yeah, that they was a good have, one. Like some really good games on the PSP that are like PSP only, or and the and the PS Vita. I had uh, the Vita. I wish I got that. I, and I had I, the PSP. I had all. I had all of them, man. I had to. I still have my PSP. I think in uh, my bedroom. I Damn, dude, I wish I had my Vita. I sold it. I sold I it wish, a while I wish back. I, bought, I wish I had bought a Vita, because I wanted to. There's like a bunch of games that I found out like years after the Vita was already basically dead. That yeah. I was like, oh, I want to play this game. Oh, I want to play this game. And then I was like, uh. Dude, Re- <laughs> Republic Squadron and Elite Squadron, the two Star Wars games, they they had like a pretty poppin online back in the day, and it it was fantastic, man. Hmm. Playing hmm. online, like uh, it was like Battlefront Two style, uh, like conquest type shit. It was uh, fun as fuck. I remember though. playing some shooter, I think, on the PSP back in the day. That was online. I don't remember what it was though. Probably some, have it anymore. probably some Medal of Honor game or some shit. Probably. I think the only game I still have for my PSP is fucking uh, Monster Hunter. I have <laughs> all of my other ones. Or maybe they broke or something. I don't know. I, I have no fucking clue what happened to them. That's the only one I found, though. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the only one I have. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I, I mentioned I mentioned earlier that Kingsley was uh, uh wouldn't wouldn't come on the Broke Knock Life podcast until I play him in Dragon Ball Legends. But we do uh-huh. have a special guest coming in uh next week. If everything goes well and there's no hiccups in the plans. Uh so next week's so which it'll be forty one. Not the closest one. Not this week because we're filming forty uh Friday. So it'll be next Friday that we're filming. Forty one with your boy the OG lad, Joe. Oh. He, wait, is he calling an end or is he going to be there? He's going to be here. If you see right there, I cleaned out everything. I did like a whole fucking clean out of my room. I'm going to... Yes, <laughs> how sure are you that he's going to show up? <laughs> that's, that's, that, that's what I'm saying. I said if there's any hiccups in the plans, my plan is to have him on for episode 41. I, I'll have everything ready. We're going to do a Costa Rica special. Where he's gonna tell some stories, and we're gonna we're gonna unearth some uh, we're gonna unearth some senior secrets. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna watch that for sure. Oh man, dude, I I I expect it to be pretty lengthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe's hilarious, so I'm sure he'll do great. Because uh, we're uh for for guests, remember I'm gonna go I'm gonna get his drink of choice, so we're gonna have some drinks. Uh, so that'll be that'll be the first time in a long time that we drink on the podcast. You need to get that motherfucker smashed. <laughs> I told Dag that I'm gonna give him ten shots right before we start. All right, take this back to back to back to back to back. <laughs> Yo, did he did he request a drink yet? No, no, I haven't I haven't told him about that yet. If, if, if he requests a mixed drink, you should 100 percent swap out whatever liquor it is with Everclear or something. <laughs> Dude, Just that's horrible. Slapped. Dude, that, slapped, he man. would immediately notice, man. Dude, you know who's a yeah, fucking right. maniac, which we which we talked about on uh, Anime Headliners? Hmm. Tuck. Tuck is a fiend. Oh, yeah, we did. We did mention him taking those shots of everything. Yeah, dude, I remember it was at Tyler's, and then he was like, all right, I'm ready to get fucked up. And and it, he doesn't, I guess he doesn't like drinking beer. He doesn't like sipping on shit. So he's like, all right. Pour, pour me like two shot, two or three shots of Everclear. Let me take this. And I'm like, what? The-? I thought he was joking, dude. Because I had taken a shot of that, and that fucking it burns, man. It oh, fucking yeah, dude, hurts. It's, like, it's literally like drinking, like rubbing alcohol is what it it's tastes 96%. like. It's ninety six percent. 
nail polish or something, bro. It's literally ninety six percent. It's insane. And uh, he's like, dude, he knocked him back like it was nothing. He was, dude, he was trash. <laughs> he got trashed after that. <laughs> That's funny. Shout out, shout out to Tuck the Maniac. Oh my Tuck god! The maniac who won't drink beer but will drink every beer. <laughs> <laughs> and the close and to close us out on that note is uh we're gonna we're gonna play that beat and then just uh just rift over it, Mr. Chazzy with uh with the crime beat from the side project podcast. Well, uh, not welcome to the Weaving with Wes. It's goodbye from the Weaving with Wes <laughs> podcast episode number seventeen. And thank y'all for listening. I forgot to do one fucking thing in the middle of the podcast. I'm trying to pull like, like click up in the upper right corner for the latest episode because they have those cards on YouTube where those right, little right. icons come out. Oh well, it was annotations, in my notes. Huh? I said annotations. I think they're called. Yeah, yeah. That that's that's old school. It's called cards now. Oh, oh my really? god, man! Annotations. <laughs> that, that's what the, those were the uh the transparent like boxes. Yeah. yeah, the boxes yeah. <laughs> oh my people god! People would point like they'd be like, "All right, click here, here, or here, or here, maybe." <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god, man! Yeah. They got rid of that. They were like, "Okay, this is way too much. Y'all are doing too much." <laughs> yeah, but I, I fuck, I fuck with this beat. He sent me a, he sent me a whole pack, and uh, let me. Sounds like a, something I'd throw on in the background while I'm working or something. Yeah, he I'll said. While I work. I've worked with people such as John Connor uh, on Dr. Dre's Aftermath label, Jamie Foxx's Foxhole Band, Glasses Malone, uh, Crondon of Strong Arm Steady, uh, and some other people. And some other people. Yeah. <laughs> some other less noteworthy. <laughs> if you please give me credit. Of course, of course. Yeah, we ain't trying to steal nothing up in here. Yeah, dude. I mean, y'all are sending in beats. I mean, he randomly, like, he doesn't even, he just randomly sent that in. He, he sent a message. He's like, hey, I saw that y'all were playing local beats and beats sent in. So, uh, let me know if y'all use anything. Put my tag, side project pod podcast, and uh, y'all can use it. Yeah, they have some really good graphics. Like, their graphic designer is really, is really nice. What is it about? It's like uh, just side projects or just like music. I don't, I, I don't, I don't listen to anything uh, besides like my three main podcasts. It's just I'm Tiger doing Belly too much shit. But I do appreciate. What's the third one? Tiger Belly, Howard Stern. What's the third one? Oh uh, man, I got uh, your mom's house. I got Tiger Belly. Oh, your mom's house. I got Bad Friends. I got. Uh, uh, oh, I forgot about that one too. Howard Stern, which has kind of just been, I, I, I've seen so much at this point. <laughs> Like the, those podcasts that I mentioned before are putting out new shit. So, yeah. But yeah. Uh, thanks again. We're gonna. Thanks again for watching. We're gonna try to record some. It, t just tell me whenever you're free. I know you got a raid tomorrow, Friday. Fuck Friday. I can't do.